missed launch windows, fundamental hardware flaws, and frustrated AIVs. Intel's road getting their dedicated ARC GPUs to market has been rocky. Work began as early as 2017, when Intel hired Roger Koduri to be chief architect and senior vice president of the freshly formed core and visual computing group within Intel. Roger himself was the lead of AMD's graphics division since 2013, and is credited with being the chief architect of AMD's Vega architecture, a job so difficult he ended up resigning from AMD. Anyhow, this computing group within Intel was intended to spearhead the development of dedicated GPUs for Intel, who prior to ARC only had internal graphics built in on their processors. By launching their own discrete GPUs, Intel would be primed to compete with not only AMD, but also Nvidia. Fast forward to 2021, and Intel finally announced the fruits of their labor, the first generation ARC GPUs named Alchemist. And if that wasn't gamer enough for you, Alchemist would be succeeded by Battle Mage, Celestial, and Druid in the years to follow. Intel seemed to have wanted to hit the ground running. Their initial announcement of ARC in August 2021 stated that Alchemist GPUs would be launching in Q1 2022. The industry was super hyped about this launch window, me included, because remember, this time was a wasteland of computer hardware, especially graphics cards. Even if all Intel could offer was mid-range level performance, this extra boost of GPU supply would satiate all those gamers clamoring for the last piece to complete their builds and waiting. Q1 2022 comes and goes, and Alchemist GPUs are nowhere to be found, except South Korea. On March 22nd, 2022, Intel held their official ARC reveal event. This would have been great if, say, the new cards were going to be releasing within the next week, just barely sliding in for that Q1 deadline. Unfortunately, that wasn't the case. The event left us with more questions than answers, and we only got a teaser for the desktop GPUs. No release date, no nothing. But Intel did announce that within the week, several laptops from Samsung would be available with Alchemist 3 GPUs, the lowest end of the Alchemist lineup. To make matters worse, due to a well-publicized miscommunication between Samsung and Intel, the laptops featuring Intel's Alchemist graphics were only available in South Korea for a few weeks. So all in all, Intel technically did launch ARC in Q1. This probably wasn't what anyone was expecting. To make matters worse for Intel, but great for gamers, GPU supply from Nvidia and AMD were improving by this point, and consumer demand was beginning to fall. Every day that Intel didn't release Alchemist, a gamer got an Nvidia or AMD graphics card, and not an Intel one. Intel had a tight window of three months at the beginning of 2022. Q1, as Intel's roadmap originally said, would have been a banger of a time to release the Alchemist GPUs, but Intel missed it. After a month and a half of radio silence, it was finally time for Intel to launch their desktop class cards. On June 15th, Intel released the Alchemist A380, the best of their low-end line. The day had finally come. You could finally get an Intel GPU. If you were in China, with not even a whimper, Intel released the A380 in mainland China. And honestly, the only reason anyone knew about it was because some media outlets spotted the GPUs for sale at electronic stores in China. While it does make sense to release a low to mid-range card in a market like China, shouldn't have this corresponded with a global launch? Evidently not. Another quiet month and a half goes by, and at the end of July, Intel begins a media blitz around their Alchemist GPUs. Most notably, Ryan Shrout and Tom Peterson of Intel, both crucial to the development and credibility of ARC, appeared on Linus Tech Tips' weekly live show, The WAN Show. There, they show off the Alchemist A770 desktop GPU, Intel's highest end. So, good news? It actually exists, and furthermore, Intel begins giving early performance reviews to influencers like LTT. So surely this means the launch is imminent, right? We're surely on the cusp. One would think, but that doesn't appear to be the case. Shortly after the media blitz, several reports surface that things are not all sunshine and rainbows over at Intel. As originally reported by Moore's Law is Dead, internal documents allegedly from Intel obtained by Moore's Law detail a number of problems with the ARC GPUs. Perhaps the most concerning of which is Intel having a very high-level discussions of just killing the ARC project altogether. Well, again, there's no way to validate these leaked documents without Intel flat out saying they're correct, at least this allegation does make sense. 
If you're an executive or C-suite, you have to view it as you've dumped millions, if not billions of dollars into R&D, and all you have to show for it is a poor launch in Asia. Furthermore, it seems as though marketing, engineering, and high-level management are all on three completely different pages. And you've self-admittedly missed crucial key development deadlines internally and several launch windows. But that's only the beginning of Intel's problems. The leaked documents go on to show that Intel has become aware of a fundamental hardware flaw in that Alchemist GPUs that wouldn't be fixed until 2024 ARC GPUs, if we even get to that point. This is further corroborated by Igor's lab, whose testing has shown that past 90 FPS, there's something about the hardware pipeline that begins to break down in these Intel GPUs. Adding to the stack of problems, the leaked documents also contain communications between Intel and AIB partners, like Gigabyte, where the partners express their frustration with Intel and the shit show that has been the non-launch of Alchemist, as the AIBs are sitting on an overstock of inventory that's just costing them more and more money the longer it sits in a warehouse. Finally, the documents contain slides of an internal presentation at Intel, which seem to indicate Intel is targeting a window in September for a global launch of Alchemist. Also of note is that the presentation slides make mention of an A780 GPU, which in separate reporting, some outlets assert existed at some point, but was scrapped due to the aforementioned issues with the hardware pipeline. Intel, however, vehemently denies the existence of the A780. While all of these issues detailed in the leaked documents would be fairly major on their own, the amalgamation of them is insane, and really begs the question, just what went wrong? Unfortunately, while it would be preferable to say that these documents are fake or outlandish, given all the circumstances around Alchemist and the ARC project, I'm more inclined to believe that these documents are legitimate. It's clear Intel missed several launch windows, the messaging is so mixed, and hell, I would even allege that Intel is running into supply issues with these things. Furthermore, independent testing seems to indicate the hardware flaw exists, and while AIB concerns are harder to pin down, if you assume that Intel, like others in the industry, have supply problems, it's not too far-fetched to believe. I for one was really looking forward to the release of the Alchemist cards, as if Intel had hit their original Q1 target. It would have been an absolute boon for consumers, and I'm always for more competition. So if the three-way competition between AMD, Nvidia, Intel led to higher performing products, I'm all for it. But now I'm of the opinion Alchemist will be too little, too late. And I predict a poor launch once Alchemist finally hits the market globally, which will cause Intel to either drastically scale back or altogether scrap the ARC development project. But hey, if you want to know more about future graphics cards that probably won't disappoint, check out our RDNA3 video here, and I'll see you next time.